Hi, my name is Scott Singer. I live in South Carolina. I've been a lifelong Republican. I've campaigned on behalf of Republican candidates from city council to the president. I helped found the largest Republican organization in my county. And I even held office for 12 years as a Republican. But I cannot find myself ever voting for Donald Trump. And in fact, I've been quite critical of his presidency. A lot of my Republican friends ask me, Scott, what happened? What's changed about you? And I guess the answer is that, to that is very little. It reminds me of when Ronald Reagan switched from the Democratic Party to the Republican Party 50 years ago. Uh, and when asked the same question, replied, I didn't change. The party changed. Well, the Republican Party under Donald Trump represents none of the values none of the principles, none of the core tenets that drew me to the Republican Party to begin with. But I guess at the end of the day, the bottom line for me is I have two sons, and I have spent my entire life, or at least since they've been here, raising them a certain way, to behave a certain way, to believe a certain way, to treat others a certain way. And Donald Trump is the antithesis of all of that. So how can I look at my two teenage boys and say, I'm going to vote for this man, despite the fact that he does not believe, does not demonstrate, does not exhibit any of the things that I say are important. And so I did not vote for Donald Trump in 2016. I didn't vote for Hillary. I voted for Gary Johnson. I guess that was not such a courageous call because, you know, in South Carolina, Donald Trump well, was going to beat Hillary Clinton all day long. But I'll vote for Joe Biden. And I'll vote for Joe Biden for many reasons. But I think the biggest reason is that he has some core decency and integrity that Donald Trump will never, ever, ever have. And, you know, we can talk about all the policy. We can talk about all of the judges, we can talk about all of the things that go into making the presidency what the presidency is all about. But I think it's more fundamental than that. I think we need to talk about what makes somebody a, at their core human. And Donald Trump just doesn't have it. And Joe Biden does. And so I will proudly cast my vote for Joe Biden in the 2020 presidential election.